Hi, I'm Kristen, co-founder and CEO of Syrup Shop. I'm JP, co-owner and chef of Syrup Shop. We are here to help shed some light on what we've been experiencing as we try to survive and also support the community during this really difficult time. The impact it's had on us and our fellow business owners has been pretty significant. We've all had really great momentum from 2019 going into 2020. Uh, it was going to be a big year for all of us. And then overnight, we've had to face a total 180, having to decide laying off people, uh, change of hours, business models, and what to do next. So it's been very stressful, at the same time, very hopeful. We've seen people in the community really come through and show up and be very supportive in either gathering resources, coming up with other plans for us to work all together and get through this pandemic. As JP was saying, in the span of a week, we've had to figure out just how to pivot our whole business. It's It was highly reliant um, in the past on social interaction. I mean, it's the core of what we love doing. We, we find that food and our type of food specifically is a mode to facilitate connection. Um, and when we can't do that in real life, face to face, it makes that mission that much harder. With all the uncertainty, we've been trying to stay focused on what we can control. For us, that is our little pivot project, which is the work from home meal kits. They're a way for us to incentivize everyone's shelter in place efforts by providing multi-day pre-packaged meals with enough variety and nutrition to keep everybody engaged and well-fed and satisfied. It also helps reduce the risk that our team is taking by limiting the number of days that we actually have to be in operation. But most of all, it's been a great way for us to stay connected with our friends, especially the ones who are small business owners. Each week, we've been trying to curate a rotating selection of products from other folks. Again, just to stay connected and to remind ourselves and the community that we can get through this if we all stick in it together. We thank you guys for listening and for the support, but most of all, we hope that you are all respecting and participating in the shelter in place mandate and staying safe.